Hi, I'm Shamal Tahir, and I'm here with the Mitaka series. We're about a week after the Design Summit so far, and today with me, I've got Dim. Dim, please tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Davanam Srinivas. My nickname is Dim. I'm the project technical lead for Oslo project uh, for uh, the Mitaka cycle. I work for Mirantis. I work from home just south of Boston. Great. Thank you. And today we'll be talking a little bit about Oslo. So, Sims, what were the hot topics at the Tokyo Design Summit for your project? Oslo is really a family of projects. So, uh, we talked about some old uh, projects, some new projects, and some drivers for new projects, uh, some old projects as well. Got it. And what did you identify as user needs or problems to solve in this upcoming release? Yeah, this time we concentrated on a few things. One was uh, feedback from Operator Summit. Uh, the other one was uh, how we work closely with the logging and security work groups, um, and also ongoing feedback in terms of uh, bugs and uh, things like that that come our way to construct uh, some really good uh, answers to the ongoing problems that we see um, in different projects. Got it. And what are the top three priorities for or new features and enhancements in the Mitaka release that we can expect from Oslo? So um, there's a few things coming down the pike. Uh, first of all, we are trying to evangelize some of the pro existing projects that we've built over the last few cycles. Uh, one example is Taskflow. Uh, Taskflow is for uh, making distributed systems uh, easier. Um, this And uh, a new project example would be we are trying to come up with a new ideas about how to solve um, the privilege mechanism problem uh, previously that we used uh, Oslo Root Wrap project for. Uh, that's another one. The third one is how do we introduce distributed locking mechanisms um, in different projects um, by using uh, things like uh, Zookeeper, uh, which will help with uh, you know uh, sharing locks. Uh, leader election, service existence, and things like that. And what are some of the key things that your project will emphasize in Mitaka? One important theme that came out of um, operators was uh, hardening the messaging infrastructure. So uh, in Mitaka, we'll be working on Oslo messaging a lot. Uh, we are introducing new drivers for 0MQ, uh, probably a driver for Kafka, at least for notifications. Uh, we'll be working on a new um, Oslo messaging driver that uses a brand new library called Pika that we haven't used before. Uh, all these uh, are at an uh, attempt to stabilize the infrastructure so we can scale out to a huge number of uh, nodes um, or compute nodes, for example. Is there anything else that you'd like to add that we didn't mention yet? Typically, Oslo developers uh, work primarily on other projects with larger code bases. So we tend to be folks who work part-time on things that we really care about at Oslo. So we welcome folks uh, to start and co contribute, and we usually quickly promote them as a course. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dim. Thank you, Shamayan.